is God. That is the attitude of the bride. Whenever the word comes forth, they say, be it unto me according to your word. If that's your attitude, the word has found a place where it can grow. Amen. Because the seed must be planted in the good ground. A ground that could believe the word. Praise, blessed be the name of the Lord. And before we have our seats, uh, turn your Bible in the book of Daniel. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 4. Let's start from verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar the king unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God hath wrought toward me. How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion is from, ev is from generation to generation. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in mine house and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Therefore made I a decree to bring, to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me, that they might make known unto me the interpretation of the dream. Then came in the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers, and I told the dream before them, but they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. But at the last Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God, and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And before him I told the dream, saying, O Belteshazzar, master of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in thee, and no secret trouble at thee. Tell me the visions of my dream that I have seen and the interpretation thereof. Thus were the vision of mine head in my bed. I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth, and the height thereof was great. And the tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. And the leaves thereof were fair, and the fruit thereof much, and in it was meat for all. The beast of the field had shadow under it, and the, and the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the boughs thereof, and all flesh was fed of it. I saw in the vision of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher and an holy one came down from heaven. He cried aloud and said thus, You down the tree, and cut off his branches, Shake off his leaves and scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. Nevertheless, leave the stump of his roots in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass, in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let his portion be with the beast in the grass of the earth, and let his heart be changed from man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven times pass over him. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the, by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and give it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. 
this dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now thou, O Belteshazzar, declare the interpretation thereof, for as much as all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation, but thou art able, for the spirit of the holy gods is in thee. Praise God. Tayo sa mandaling manalangin sa Panginoon. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your divine presence in the midst of your people. Lord, we are people that recognizes your presence among us because we know, Lord, that you keep your word, that two or three that are gathered in your name, you are in the midst of us. I know, Lord, that you are here because you want to bless your people. You want to encourage them, teach them your ways, Lord, that they may grow in the knowledge and wisdom of you. And Lord, right now, Lord, we ask for your divine anointing to lead us as we study your word. Lord, I acknowledge my insufficiency. I know, Lord, that I am nothing without you. As the prophet said, Lord, the gift is coming out of the way. Lord, that God, Lord, could speak through the gift. And I just pray, Lord, that, uh, that you may be glorified on all the things that are to be said. Anoint my heart, Father, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. I pray that you would once again encourage your children, strengthen those that are weak. Lord, if there's any need among your children, whatever it may be, it may be physical needs, material needs, Lord, or maybe they need some deliverance, restoration, or healing, whatever it is, Father. I know, Lord, that you are the high priest that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Lord, that's why, Lord, uh, as we open our heart, as we release the faith that is inside of us, I know, Lord, we could touch the great high priest, Lord, that is able and willing, Lord, to sustain our needs. I pray that you would bless your children, Father. We are here because we know that you're here. And I pray that you would bless every one of us, even our unseen audience or streaming online and those that would watch the recording of this service. I pray, Lord, that you would also bless them wherever they are. They may be at home or some other place, but Father, if they have a right attitude, even your presence can come down wherever they are at, Lord. I pray for your divine blessings. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may have your seats. Praise God. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. Praise God. And uh, we... Uh, we welcome all the visitors we have today. I was looking at the current events that are taking place and the recent result of our election. Uh, although wala pang inauguration ng mga ating presidente o ng mga nanalo, uh, but as I was seeing this, I was thinking of... Uh, the message I preached many years ago, and I think it's uh, good to bring them, uh, to, or to bring us in remembrance. I, I, I just don't know how I delivered that message. Hindi pa natin, hindi pa tayo record noon, ano? But when I preached that message, I believe that the inspiration was there. At si Brother Beryl na compose na yung, yung, uh, yung uh, awit na Heaven's Durul. So I was thinking when I preach that, uh, when wa, kung kailan kong tinuro yun, and uh, kung five years siya bago naka-uwi muli. <laughs> so that's more than five years or uh, we, we just don't know. Amen. And uh, I trust the Holy Spirit would help us today. Uh, to give emphasis where uh, it is needed. And uh, 
Amen. So I'll just use the same title that I used before, uh, which we could take here from Daniel chapter 4, Heavens Do Rule. Heavens Do Rule. Amen. Praise God. And I'd like this message to be more personal to us. And may the Lord help me to do it. Amen. Because uh, we know that He's the great teacher amongst us. Amen. We, uh, we want the eagle to be led by the dove. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, so Daniel chapter 4, uh, you know, if you uh, have read the entire book of Daniel, you would see that Daniel chapter 4 is the only chapter in the book of Daniel that was not written by Daniel himself because this was written by King Nebuchadnezzar. It was a state document or declaration concerning about or, or about his testimony, how the Lord dealt with him. So this is one of the ancient state documents that was preserved. I, uh, uh, inilagayan dyan because it's a personal testimony na si King Nebuchadnezzar proclaimed unto all nations translated in different languages uh, for them to know what God has done to him. Because, I be uh, because he believed that God has a message not only for him uh, in that experience, other people may also learn. So, uh, you know, uh, this is one thing that na kung uh, maging conscious tayo sa mga bagay na inihayag ng Panginoon sa bagay na ito, you know, there are things that na hindi na tayo natatakot o nagwo-worry sa mga bagay-bagay na nangyayari sa ating buhay. And I believe that it would help us increase our faith in the Lord. So this was a state document, a testimony how the Lord has dealt with King Nebuchadnezzar. Kilala natin si King Nebuchadnezzar. He was uh, the king of Babylon. Babylon at this time is a world empire. Okay, he is the, the strongest and the wealthiest nation or empire. It's controlling the whole world. Nations are paying tribute to Babylon. So uh, maybe we could just read a portion of our, our some, uh, some things here uh, just to lay the foundation. Okay. Daniel chapter 4. It says here, Nebuchadnezzar the king unto all people, nation, and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God hath wrought toward me. So it's a personal testimony. This is about the signs and wonders that God has done to him. And uh, this is what he learned from this experience. Sabi niya, how great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And his dominion is from generation to generation. Could you imagine? A world ruler would learn these things. And he learned these things in a hard way. At, ang sabi niya sa verse, For I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. Kung banga, at this time, Nebuchadnezzar was in the golden years of his reign. He was at rest. Every nations were subdued, every nation were conquered. At kung mayroong mga uprising na mangyayari ay kaya niyang uh, uh, patigilin. So he had he had conquered many nations. Babylon is already a world political empire. So he was already at rest and fl flourishing. In other words, he was successful uh, in, uh, in subduing nations. He was successful in his projects, yung mga bagay na naisip niya. 
Because Babylon at this time is a glorious city, a glorious uh, uh, place. You know how, uh, how uh, King Nebuchadnezzar has built that place. If, uh, if you remember, one of the ancient seven wonders of the world is the Hanging Garden of Babylon, and that was built by King Nebuchadnezzar. Pagkat nang nag-asawa siya ng isang uh, Persian woman, Namiss niya yung kanyang lugar. Sabi niyo, uh, namiss ko yung mga bundok. Uh, so, mismo doon sa kanyang syudad, nagpagawa siya ng artificial mountain, artificial zoo, uh, artificial uh, 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 ng zoo, nandun yung mga hayop. And he made a garden. And uh, ang Babylon ay, uh, if you would study history, yung mga walls niya, sabi nga ng prophet, you could run a chariot. Kaya it's, in, uh, it's an imprint na hindi ka basta-basta makapag-penetrate doon. Kasi pati yung mga armies ng ibang nations, if they try to invade Babylon, it's not that easy. Because it's a well-fortified nation. So, uh, sabi dito, I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. Then, he mentioned here a dream. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thoughts upon my bed, and the visions of my head troubled me. Could you imagine that this dream made King Nebuchadnezzar afraid? Now you must have idea what kind of person this king was. He was a ruthless man, a barbarian. Mga kapatid, he has... Like, he had engaged in many battles. He saw great armies o mga soldiers na mga matatapang. Pero uh, this man is a courageous man. He's barbaric na alam niyo yung ginawa niya sa King of Judah, di ba? When they siege uh, Jerusalem uh, for two years, pagkat ayaw mag-surrender ni King Zedekiah at na nagkaroon na ng famine dun sa Jerusalem pagkat they siege it, Wala nang trading na nangyayari. There is a, uh, nothing is coming in, nothing is going out. Hanggang they were impoverished, they were in famine inside that city. Kaya ang ginawa ni King Zedekiah with his family and some of his soldiers, they tried to escape through the gates at night, pero hinabol sila. At nang nahuli sila, alam, alam nyo, pinagawa ni King Nebuchadnezzar, Pinatay niya lahat ng anak ni King Sedekaya sa kanyang harapan. And after niyang pinatay lahat sa kanyang harapan, pinadukot niya yung mata ni Sedekaya. So the last thing that he saw was the death of his sons. So this is how barbaric this man is. How ruthless. Nakita niyo sa Daniel chapter 2, when they could not give his dream and interpret his dream, he made a decree to kill all the wise men. Pero bagamat ganitong klase ang taong ito, mga kapatid, God has a way to, to make a man afraid or tremble. You see that? Binigyan niya siya ng panaginip. At sa panaginip na ito, sabi sa Bible, this dream made him afraid. It bothered him so much. At sabi nito, and the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. At sabi sa verse 6, Therefore made I a decree to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me that they might make known unto me the interpretation of the dream. Then came in the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And I told the dream before them, but they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. So pinatawag niya muli mga magicians, the wise men, the soothsayers, the Chaldeans. Itong panaginip ko, nagkaroon ako ng gaitong panaginip, I'd like you to interpret it. Pero with all those many wise men in Babylon, they could not give the interpretation of the dream. I wonder why King Nebuchadnezzar did not call Daniel this time. 
Pagkat alam natin sa Daniel chapter 2, it was only Daniel that was able to give the dream and the interpretation thereof. It could be because of his pride. Na, sabi niya, bakit lagi naman ako magkukonsulta sa, uh, sa Jewish captive? Uh, I have my own wise man here, trained in Babylon. So, silang, kinang, kina, silang una niyang tinawag, pero hindi rin nila ma-interpret. They could not give the interpretation of the dream. So, nang hindi nila ma-interpret, alam, alam ni King Nebuchadnezzar na mayroong pag-isa that could give the interpretation of the dream. At sabi sa verse, uh, sa verse 8, But at the last, Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God. So si Daniel, binigyan siya ng Babylonian name, Belteshazzar, according to the name of the God of Nebuchadnezzar. And in whom is the spirit of the holy gods? And before him I told the dream, saying, O Belteshazzar, master of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in thee, and no secret trouble at thee, tell it, Tell me the visions of my dream that I have seen and the interpretation thereof. Now, I'd like you to catch this. You know, uh, this man, a, a, a heathen king, alam niya, there's something about Daniel. Because Daniel could interpret mysterious things. Daniel could understand secret things. Kaya, the way... Uh, King Nebuchadnezzar expressed it, ang sabi niya, in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. Now, that's the way he expressed it. But we know it's the Holy Spirit in Daniel that is giving him wisdom. Sabi niya sa verse na, Oh, Belteshazzar, master of the magician, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in thee and no secret trouble at thee. Alam ni King Nebuchadnezzar na maging yung mga mahirap na yung nawain, yung mga mis misteryoso mga bagay-bagay, yung mga sekreto, it doesn't trouble Daniel because Daniel has an access. Amen. Amen. It's a, at sabi niya, the Holy, the Spirit of the Holy God is in thee. That's how the, how the way he expresses it because of lack of understanding. Pero ang makikita natin ito na si, na si King Nebuchadnezzar, although he was a pagan king, he recognized that there is a divine supernatural thing that is revealing things to Daniel. Kasi yung mga bagay na hindi ma-interpret ng mga magicians, ng mga astrologers, ng mga wise men of Babylon, of his kingdom, ay kayang ma-interpret ni Daniel. Kaya sabi niya, the spirit of the Holy Ghost is in you. Oh my! Mga kapatid, kung, kung a pagan king could recognize that to that man, Daniel, do you mean to say you could not recognize it when God is working in a believer? Amen! When God opens up things, when the all reveals mysteries, you know, amen, that the Holy Spirit is in that person. Because who can reveal such things but no other than the angel of the Lord, the Holy Spirit? Because the Bible said, when the Holy Ghost is come, it will show you things to come. It will teach you all things. It will guide you into all truth. If a pagan person could recognize that in a man of God, how much more to us? Do you see that? Because it's not man that revealeth the secrets. It's not man unfolding the deep things of the word of God. Ang sabi ng prophet, ang especially the book of Revelation, hindi mo yung maunawan in an ordinary study. It takes the operation of the Holy Spirit. That's why if you could understand the deep things of God, in other words, the Holy Spirit is in you. It's the Holy Spirit revealing these things to us. That's why I'm sure 100%, amen, that the Holy Spirit is moving among us. Amen. 
Amen. How could we understand these things? How could we interpret the symbols in the Bible? How could we interpret things na ilang taon na pinag-aaralan ng mga theologians but they could not understand it? Amen. They are just giving their opinions about it. Wala silang assurance. Verse 10. Sabi nito, Thus were the visions of mine head in my bed. Now, this is the dream. He also called it visions. Marahil, uh, when he was awake, he was still seeing it. It's, or it, it was flashing back at him. Sabi nito, I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth. So he saw a tree. And the height thereof was great. No, it's, this is not an ordinary thing because the height thereof was great. It's a gigantic tree. And the tree grew and was strong. And the height thereof reached unto heaven. And the sight thereof to the end of, the, of all the earth. Oh, could you imagine that? How gigantic these trees that you could see this tree from the ends of the earth. Now, the leaves thereof were fair. So, malago yung puno. Because the leaves were fair. And the fruit thereof much. So, sagana siya sa bunga. And it was meat for all. So, it provides food for all flesh. Meat for all. The beasts of the field had shadow under it, and the fowls of heaven dwelt in the boughs. Those are branches thereof, and all flesh was fed of it. So yung mga beasts of the field, you know, uh, they find comfort under the shadow of this great tree. At yung mga fowls of the air were resting in the branches of this great tree. At sabi niya, all flesh was fed of it. I saw, verse 13, I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher, and an holy one came down from heaven. Then as he was seeing that great tree, magnificent tree, gigantic tree, in that visions, he saw a watcher, which was also called an holy one. A watcher and holy one came down from where? From heaven. And he cried aloud and said, Thus, you down the tree and cut off his branches, shake off his leaves and his cutter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. I think this is the part that makes Nebuchadnezzar Afraid. But he was seeing a tree. It was using uh, the pronoun it describing the tree. Pero nang buwaba yung watcher, and holy man, and holy one, ang sabi niya, you down the tree. At sabi niya, and cut off his branches. So from it, it became a personal pronoun, his Sabi niya, his branches. Di sinabi, it, its branches. His branches and shake off his leaves and scatter forth his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. So he was, so King Nebuchadnezzar na was thinking based on the words of the watcher that came down from heaven, this tree must be somebody. And this watcher is pronouncing judgment to the tree. At sabi niya, nevertheless, leave the stump of his root in the earth. Look at the uh, pronoun his there. Pero sabi niya, itong, sabi na, itong watcher sabi niya, well, eh, don't, don't totally uproot uh, the tree. 
but leave a stump of the root. Ikat mo siya. Pero, wag mo nga, wag mo, bu- hindi, hindi, hindi bubunutin from the root. Ibig sabihin, merong itinira. Even with a band of iron and brass, so it is with a band of iron and brass, because it is showing here that although this tree was cut, it would be restored. In the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let his, now look at the word his, his portion be with the beast in the grass of the earth. And let his heart be changed from a man's. So this must be a person. Because his heart be changed from a man's and let a beast heart be given unto him. And let seven times pass over him. And seven times means seven years. Pag sinabi ba sa Bible, time, times, and a half of time, that's three and a half years. This is seven times, this is seven years. Now, narinig na yun. So this watch, watcher was declaring or pronouncing judgment doon sa tree, at ang sabi sa verse 17, this matter is by the decree of the watchers. And the demand, and the demand by the word of the holy ones. Now, yung watcher na buba kanina, tinawag din the holy one. Itong bagay na ito, itong judgment na pre-nounce, ang sabi ito, it was for, by the decree of the watchers. And the demand by the word of the holy men's, uh, holy ones. Now, sabi kanina yung watcher na boba galing sa langit. Tama ba? So it's showing us that in heaven, there is what we call court of watchers. Na doon inisyo yung decree. A case is being discussed in the court ng mga watchers. Then, they come up with a decision. After things are discussed, after a case is discussed, a decree is made. Then a sentence is passed. And once a sentence is passed, that sentence would be executed. Now, you know, when this Bible was translated, it used the word watchers. Diba? But if you, we would use uh, message terms, mas madali natin maunawa ng bagay na yan. Because when we say watchers, they are observers. Diba? They are investigating. Sila yung nagwa-watch. Nang ibig sabihin, if uh, we'll, we'll just use a message terms, these watchers are investigating angels of judgment that watch the affairs of men on the earth. Nang ibig sabihin, bago may mangyari sa lupang ito, it is, oh, it is first decreed in the court of the watchers. It is showing us the interconnection of the two worlds, of the unseen and the seen world. Na yung mga bagay na nangyayari sa lupang ito, bago yan mangyari, it is already decreed in the court in heaven. Do you see that? Well, we see that in the time of, uh, of Micaiah. Tama ba? Alam natin na si Elijah nag-prophesy siya about the death of Ahab. Ang sabi niya, in the place where the dogs lick the blood of Naboth, doon din didilaan ng mga asong yung dugo. At nakita natin na si Ahab, ginaya niya si King Jehoshaphat to go into battle in Ramoth Gilead. Alam natin si Micaiah, nakakita siya ng vision. He saw that there was a conference in heaven. Pagkat matagal na binang pinonounce yung judgment ni Ahab, 
But it is now time to fulfill the prophecy of Elijah. Kaya, ang sabi ng Panginoon, who will persuade Ahab to go and fall in Ramoth Gilead? Pag sinabing fall, mamamatay na siya. Why? Because the prophecy of Elijah, the time has come that the prophecy would be fulfilled. Nag-ibig sabihin, nandun na yun. It was discussed in the court in heaven. At merong doong isang spirit, sabi niya, nag-volunteer siya, I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of the, of the prophets. Why? Because the time has arrived. The time has come. Amen. Na tutuparin na ng Panginoon yung sinabi ni Elijah na kanyang propeta. So you could see the association, the interconnection of the unseen world and the seen world. Even when we read the book of Job, nakita natin na yung mga bagay na nangyari kay Job ay hindi nangyari yan hanggat hindi muna napag-usapan sa langit. It was decided and approved in heaven first before nangyari yun kay Job. Yung suffering ni Job, yung kanya mga pinagdaanan, he lost his wealth in just a day. He lost his ten children in just one day. Those things were declared in heaven. It was decreed in heaven na magyayari yun kay Job. It is showing the sovereignty of God na walang bagay na pwedeng mangyari sa lupang ito kung hindi papayagan ng Diyos. Not even a blade of a grass can move unless God will permit it. So it was decreed by the watchers. Itong bagay na ito, now look at uh, verse 17. I'd like to emphasize something here. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. So merong intention. Kaya nangyari itong declaration. Ano ang purpose? To the intent that the living, the living means the inhabitants. So, itong bagay ng yara, it's not only for King Nebuchadnezzar, but for all the living. Why? Pagkat after ni King, ni King Nebuchadnezzar, he came out of this experience, he made a state proclamation para yung bagay na natutunan niya out of those experience ay malaban ng mga tao. That the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Hallelujah! It's not Bin Laden that is ruling this world. It's not Vladimir Putin that is ruling this world. It's the Most High God. Amen! That is ruling the kingdom of men. When I say the kingdom of men, Philippines, America, Russia, Rome, O oh, ano ba mga bansa? Africa. It's the most high God that ruleth the kingdom of man. Amen. A person, a superpower person in this world, a superpower ruler ngayon mga bad may think. Amen. He has a, a great authority, he has a super authority. He can just do what he wants. No. But the Bible is showing you that there is a higher power, that there's a higher authority. Amen. That there's a supreme God that is in control of everything. So what's the purpose? Ang sabi nito, to the intent that the living, that includes you and me, may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it it to whomsoever He will. At ibibigay niya yan kung sinong gusto niyang pagbigyan and set it up over it, the basis of men. Maging yung mababang, pinakamababang tao pwedeng iangat ng Panginoon to be a ruler. Ibibigay niya kung sinong gusto niya pagbigyan. Kung yung mga Pilipino, alam yan mga kapatid, wala nang bangayan dyan sa uh, social media. 
Hindi nila matanggap kung sinong nanalo. Iba. Pagkat kung sino ang gustong pagbigyan ng Panginoon, ibibigay doon. May kanya-kanya. Ang tao, mayroong kanya-kanyang preference. 3 million na may gusto kay Pacquiao. 14 million na kay Lenny. Ila, mayroon din mga tao may gusto kay Lakson. Iba. Pero ibibigay ng Panginoon kung sino niya gusto niya pagbigyan. Because remember this, for God to fulfill His word, Amen. God must put the right person in a position. Kung itong si Marcos mga kapatid, ito na yung presidente sa panahon ng squeezing time, ibig sabihin, he is the right person, kaya siyang niluklok ng Panginoon. God knows what He's doing. When, when people think things are out of control, everything is under control by God. Kung sila gusto niya bigyan, doon niya ibibigay. Kahit pa iba yung binoto mo, wala kang magagawa. Pati magkakamag-alang, nagdi-discuss yun dyan eh. Alam niyo mga kapatid, I'm not a political person. You don't hear me endorsing someone here. Diba? I may suggest to an individual, kung, kung meron mga nakita kong na less evil na tao or something like that. Eh, but, uh, you choose what you want, but mga kapatid, God has the final say. Now, that was the dream. Let's read verse 18. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now thou, O Belteshazzar, that's Daniel. Pinangalanan siya ng Belteshazzar. Kaya ng pangalan ng Diyos ni Nebuchadnezzar. Now thou, O Belteshazzar, declare the interpretation thereof. For as much as all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation, but thou art able, for the spirit of the holy gods is in thee. Ito mga theologian ko, ito may mga doctor's degree pa, grabbing years ng training nila, hindi nila kaya ng interpret kung ano-anong Bible seminary ang kanilang pinasukan. Amen! Marami sila mga diploma, pero hindi nila ma-interpret. Pero ikaw, you are able because the Spirit of the Holy Ghost is in thee. Oh my. That's how the pagan king expresses it. Amen! Kaya mga kapatid, wala nang mas tataas na unawa sa Biblia kundi yung mga taong nasa minsayang ito. Diba? Ano, ano, ano? Gusto mong mag-aral sa Bible school? Para may matutunan ka? Alam niyo mga kapatid, uh, uh, sa Bahrain, uh, merong dumaludong pastor na, na dating na pastor sa Qatar, sa denomination. Katapos narinig niya yung message. Ang sabi niya sa akin, alam niyo pastor, pumunta pa ako ng Pilipinas para mag-aral. Wala naman ako natutunan. Dito lang pala. Why? Pagkat mga kapatid, yung mga professor sa Bible School, hindi kinasiya ng Espiritu Santo. Sino bang otor na aklat na ito? Yung Holy Ghost. So who could give the right interpretation? It's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Kaya I hope, hindi kayo nakaupo dyan, you are doubting. May Holy Ghost kaya si Pastor? If you ever think that, mga kapatid, mas babuti pa si King Nebuchadnezzar, marirecognize niya. 
You've been sitting for years and it's still wandering. <laughs> now, verse 19. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was astonished for one hour, and his thoughts troubled him. The king spake and said, Belteshazzar, let not the dream or the interpretation thereof trouble thee. Nang narinig ni Daniel, mga kapatid, nakats niya agad yung revelation. But he was astonished. Hindi niya alam kung paano yung sasabihin. Pagkat ito'y bad news. Alam niyo si Samuel, when the Lord spoke to him, at alam, pag-ising ng umaga, alam ni Eli na kinausap ng Panginoon si Samuel. Pero si Samuel, reluctant siya na sabihin kay, kay Eli because God spoke about the judgment of Eli in his house. Pero alam ni Eli na mayroong sinabi. Halika dito, Eli, Samuel. Huwag kang magtatago sa akin. Kung anong sinabi ng Panginoon, sabihin mo lahat sa akin, huwag kang magtatago. Kung magtago ka, let God strike you or even kill you. Takot si Samuel. <laughs> At sinabi niya lahat. At ito si Daniel, mga kapatid. He was astonished for one hour and the thoughts, his thoughts troubled him. At sabi ng hari, Belteshazzar, let not the dream or the interpretation thereof trouble thee. Nagkita rin ni, ni Kinon na it troubles him. Belteshazzar answered and said, My Lord, the dream be to them that hate thee and the interpretation thereof to thine enemies. Sabi ni Daniel dito, Mahal na hari, oh, how I wish na yung interpretation ng dream na ito ay sa mga tao that hates you. Na sana yung interpretation na ito ay sa iyong mga kaaway at hindi para sa iyo. Makikita niyo si Daniel, hindi nagtatago na nga. Galit. Alaham ni Daniel na si King Nebuchadnezzar ang, mawa, na, ang mu, nagwasak ng Jerusalem. Alam ni Daniel na siya ang nagwasak ng templo doon. Pero wala siyang sama ng loob. Pagkat alam niya, everything was under God's control. Amen. Si King Nebuchadnezzar was God's hand of chastisement to punish the nations of their evil. Now, how I wish, mahal na hari, na itong interpretation na hindi para sa iyo. How I wish na ito'y para sa iyong mga kaaway. Verse 20. The tree that thou sowest, which grew and was strong, whose height reached unto the heaven, and the sight thereof to all the earth, whose leaves were fair. Matayog na punong kahoy, masagana sa kanyang dahon, magaganda kanyang dahon, malusog, and the fruit thereof much, and it was meat for all, under which the bees of the field dwelt, and upon whose branches the fowls of the heaven had their habitation. Verse 22, sabi niya, It is thou, O king. Ikaw yung punong kahoy na ito. Sino yung mga beasts, yung mga fowls? We know nations are likened unto beasts and fowls of the air. Okay. Ikaw yung punong kahoy ito. Thou art grown and become strong. He subdued nations. Nations were, uh, were paying tribute to him. Babylon was an established kingdom. He became so strong that made him a world ruler. At sabi niya, For thy greatness is grown and reached unto heaven and thy dominion to the end of the earth. Verse 23, And whereas the king saw a watcher, an unholy one coming down from heaven, and saying, Hew the tree down, and destroy it, yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth. You cut, you hew the tree down, pero mag-iwan ka ng stump. Stump of the roots thereof. Iwanan mo. 
even with the band of iron and brass. So it is bound with the band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field and let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let his portion be with the beast of the field till seven times pass over him. At sabi niya, this is the interpretation. O king, this is the decree of the Most High. Sabi kanina, it was the decree of the watchers. Inapproval ng mga watchers. And it was finally approved by the Most High. This is the decree of the Most High, which is, a, which is come upon my Lord the King, that they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, till thou know that the Most High ruleth, in the kingdom of man and give it, it to whomsoever he will. Nang ininterpret ni Daniel, ikaw yung tree na yun. You would be driven from among men. Ilalagay ka doon sa field. Nag-ibig sabihin, magkakaroon siya ng karamdaman. It's a mental insanity. Kasi, akala niya, hayop siya. Now, uh, di, di ba, karamdaman yun. Ano kaya kung uh, ako mga kapatid tumayo ngayon at akala ko ako si si, uh, si Vladimir Putin. I-release ko na yung nuclear ko, sabi sa inyo. Uy, may, anong nangyari kay pastor? Ito, nagkaroon siya ng insanity pagkat akala niya hayop siya. Kaya nilagay siya doon sa field. Kinakain niya mga damo. Nahamugan siya ng Jew of Heaven. And he stayed in that condition. He would eat the grass like an oxen. He would stay in that condition. Ang sabi to, Till thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and give it, it to whomsoever he will. Because God has to humble this man. God has to break down his pride. Akala niya siya na yung pinakamakapangyarihan. Akala niya, wala nang pwede makapagpigil sa kanya kung anong gagawin niya, magagawa niya. Pero God has to teach him a lesson that there is a higher power, that there is a higher authority than him. So this experience was given with an intention. Now, verse 26, And were asked, Daika, they commanded to leave thee the stump of the three roots. Ito interpretation niya. Thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee, after that thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule. Ayan yung title natin, heavens do rule. Kaya doon sa, 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 sa dream, merong stump na itinira. Kasi yung kingdom, sigurado sa'yo pa rin yun. Ibig sabihin, hindi tatanggalin, hindi kukunin ng Panginoon sa'yo. Nang ibig sabihin, i-restore ka ng Panginoon. Bibigyan ka niya lang ng eksperyensya for a season, pero ibabalik ka rin niya sa trono. The kingdom shall be sure unto thee after that thou shalt have known that heavens do rule. So who is ruling the affairs of men? Biden? The Pope? Heavens do rule. Amen. Na mo that heavens do rule. Verse 27. Wherefore, now look at this now. After na in-interpret in ni Daniel, hindi niya lamang in-interpret, ganun lang, no, mga kabatid. Here comes now a prophet of God. He would give an advice to this heathen king. Ang sabi niya, Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee. Because the sentence has been passed. And here comes now Daniel would advise the king. Sabi niya, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee. And break off thy sins by righteousness. Pagkat itong si King Nebuchadnezzar, marami na siyang wickedness nagkinumit. Pero sabi ni, 
Sabi ni ni Daniel, let my words or my counsel be acceptable to thee. May you hear what I would speak to you. Sabi niya, break off thy sins by righteousness. Because these things are coming to you because of your sins. Because of your pride. But, I'd, but you break it by doing the right thing. By righteousness. And thine iniquities by showing mercy to the poor. If it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility. Stop oppressing the poor. Help the poor. Now, even say, break your iniquities by showing mercy to the poor. He starts showing more mercy. This is my advice to you. If it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility, pagkat alam ni Daniel, that a quick repentance may withhold the judgment of God or may even pull back the judgment of God. And he was giving an advice. And let's see. Verse 28. All this, all this came upon the king Nebuchadnezzar. Lahat ng mga yan, na nangyari kay king Nebuchadnezzar, at nangyari. And at the end of 12 months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. Now it's showing you here, 12 months. From the time na in-interpret ni Daniel, lumipas ang 12 months. At ito ngayon, si King Nebuchadnezzar lumalakad doon sa roof ng kanyang palace at pinagmamasdan niya how great this city of Babylon is, this kingdom is. At the end of 12 months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of my kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty. Now look at this, mga batid. God has given the king a space to repent because from the interpretation of the dream, nagpalipas ng 12 months, at nagbigay ng advice si Daniel sa kanya. Ang sabi niya, you break your sins by doing righteousness. You break your iniquities by having mercy to the poor. Pero mga kabatid, this man is so stubborn. He didn't even listen to the advice. Amen. Of an anointed servant of God. Amen. Binaliwala niya yung sinabi ni Daniel. Binaliwala niya yung advice ni Daniel. Now, let, let me tell this to you. Do you see sometimes people could be stubborn? God was already speaking to the servant of God, warning them. But they don't take heed to the warning. At once, yung grace period na ibinigay ng Panginoon ay natapos na at sinasabi ko mga kapatid, there is no court of appeal. The sentence must be executed. Diba? Kami mga tawi, mga bagay na nangyayari sa kanila. But before those things ay, ay nangyayari sa kanila, they have been hearing the minister war giving warning to them. Pero nandiyan lang sila para walang naririnig. They don't pay much attention then things happen in their life. And they want to run to the pastor. When the Lord is already, did He speak to them a lot of times? Kaya mga kapatid, when the Spirit is speaking, don't resist the Holy Ghost. Humble yourself. You have to submit to the Word of God. If God is correcting you through the words coming out of the mouth of His minister, mga kapatid, you take that rebuke, you take that correction, and you fix your ways. You humble yourselves. Hindi yung kinokorek ka na ng Panginoon, pero nagmamatigas ka. And you think you could just go on on your own ways? And look, 
look at this. Look at the pride of King Nebuchadnezzar at the end of 12 months. Ayun na yung end ng grace period niya. Nang ininterpret, mula nang ininterpret ni Daniel yung, yung dream or visions. At the end of 12 months, habang siya'y naglalakad, nakita niya yung great city, a fortified city. There's no place in the world like Babylon. At sabi niya, habang tinitingnan niya, look at this great Babylon that I built by my own power for my great majesty. At sabi dito sa verse 32, ay sa verse 31, while the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee, until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Nagmamalaki siya. Amen. Akala niya, alam natin mga kabatid na maraming digmaan na, na, na hinarap si King Nebuchadnezzar as he subdued nations at nanalo siya sa mga digmaan ng Inohi. Pero hindi ibig sabihin mga kabatid dahil malakas siya at dahil magaling siya because the Lord has given those nations to him. It was God that gave him that victory. Pero ito ngayon, as he was looking at that achievement, as he was looking around the magnificent palace, the magnificent city of Babylon, sabi niya, look at this great Babylon that I built by my own power for the honor of my majesty. Alam niyo mga kabatid, whatever you achieve in this life, you be careful to give the right honor to whom it is due. With all your achievements, you bring back the glory to God. Alam niyo kung minsan, when you're lifted up with pride, na parang abagang si King Nebuchadnezzar, now si King Nebuchadnezzar is a king with a kingdom. Now let's narrow it down in a, in a lower level. Just like a man that started with nothing. Katapos maya-maya mga kapatid, umasensyo siya, lumago ang kanyang negosyo, nakabili siya ng bahay, nakabili siya ng sasakyan, o nabigyan niya ng magandang edukasyon ng kanyang mga anak, then sasili, lumago ang kanyang negosyo. Then uh, maya-maya mga kapatid, sa, he is lifted up in pride, sabi niya, look at, look at uh, my ability. Look at by my wisdom na iangat kong aking buhay na ganito. Mga kabatid, tandaan mo, maging abilidad mo, maging kalusukan mo, maging kalakasan mo, ay hiram sa Diyos. Ayan, ay binigay ng Panginoon by His sovereign grace. Kaya whatever you have achieved in this life, you give back the glory to God to whom it is you. Hallelujah! Mga kabatid, Amen. If I look at my position right now, I could not even reach this position without the grace of God. It is God that bring me this position. When I look what this ministry has achieved, it's not by my our own might, by our own power. It's by the Spirit, saith the Lord. You must recognize that you are nothing without God. Maging yung maliit na wisdom na ginagamit mo sa yung trabaho, sa yung negosyo, ayan ay bigay ng Panginoon sa iyo. Wala tayong may pagmamalaki sa iglesia ng ito. Walang taong pwedeng may ta sa iglesia ng ito kundi ang Diyos sa langit. If we have reached this far, it's all by the grace of God. It's all by the mercy of God. It's all because of what God has done for us. Oh my. 
Look at this great Babylon that I built by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty. Amen. And he heard a voice. At ano nangyari mga kapatid? Yung pinunaos yung judgment na execute na. Nag-asal hayop siya. Could you imagine for seven years? Nagkaroon siya ng insanity. Could you imagine? Pagkat nang nakita niya yung Babylon look, sabi sa Babylon, he was he was resting and prospering, flourishing. Maganda ang kanyang higaan, sangka ng kanyang hapagtainan. Masangka ng kanyang ininom. Every nation is under his control. At he was lifted up in pride na maging yung advice ng propeta ng Panginoon, hindi niya pinakinggan. And because he was lifted up in pride, mga kapatid, ibinabas siya ng Panginoon. At sabi nito, Until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will. Na makita mo, Amen, that is the Most High that ruleth in the kingdom of men. Hindi ka ang boss ni Kumikandigasar. Hindi ka ang pinakamakapangyarihan. Kung mayroon kang kapangyarihan, it's just a delegated power or authority that comes from God. You have power because it is given unto you. Do you see that? Kaya sabi sa book of Romans, lahat ng, all power is ordained by God. It is given by permission by God. Pagkat sabi sa Bible, all power in heaven and on earth ay na kay Kristo na. So kung yung tao may kapangyarihan, it is just given by permission because all power belongs to the Lord. And given it to whomsoever He will. At sabi sa verse 33, the same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar and he was driven from men and did eat grass as oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hairs were grown like eagles, eagles' feathers and his nails like birds' claws. Could you imagine that insanity that took place? Na yung kanya mga hair ay, ay lumago na parang mga eagles' feathers na. Yung kanya nga, mga nails, luma, lumawa para mga bird, bird's claw. Bakit na ganyan? Kasi na, nabaliw siya. Kaya, ewan ko, ngayon, ewan ko yung mga mahilig magpahaba ng kuko. Ito kasi, umaba yung kuko niya kasi nabaliw siya. <laughs> Minsan nagbayad ako doon sa barin ng, ano, ng, uh, ng uh, bill ko sa telepono. Yung nandoon sa, ano, in church doon, magbayad ka. Ang haba ng kuko niya. Hirap na hirap tuloy mag-type. Ano ba ito? Hindi na lang po tuloy para mabilis siya sa trabaho niya. Hirap kasi ang haba ng kuko. Ito, ang haba ng kuko niya. Like a bird's claw. But sabi sa verse 34, And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven. Alam niyo mga kapatid, if you, if you think you're an animal, if you think you're like an ox, an animal usually looks down. Normally, di ba? Pero mga kapatid, dito na mga kapatid, he started to realize things. Okay, his sanity is coming back and he started to look up. Sabi niya, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my, uh, my eyes unto heaven. And my understanding returned unto me. At sabi niya, And I bless the Most High. Dati-dati mga kapatid, lahat yung glory kinaangkin niya. Pinupuri niya kanyang sarili. But after that experience, sabi niya, Then I bless the Most High. And I praise and honor Him that liveth forever whose dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Hallelujah! He started to give praise. He started to give honor to whom honor is due. At sabi niya, and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. 
Nang ibig sabihin lahat ng inabitan sa lupang ito, they are considered nothing compared to God. Not even me. Even I is considered nothing. Akala ko makapangyarihan ako. Akala ko kaya kong gawin. Pero pinitik lang ako ng Panginoon na wala lahat. Amen. Nakita niya mga kapatid. Amen. That it's not Him that ruleth. It's heavens do rule. Amen. Sabi niya, And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the might, in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay, or stay means stop, none can stop his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? Amen. Kung anong gustong gawin ng Diyos, magagawa niya. Amen. With his heaven's army. At kung meron siyang ginagawa, sinong pwedeng magtanong sa'yo, anong ginagawa mo? Alam mo ba yung ginagawa mo? Alam ng Diyos ang kanyang ginagawa, hindi mo siya pwedeng questionin? Kung meron siyang ginagawa sa buhay mo, that is the best thing to do in your life? At sa verse 36, at the same time, my reason returned unto me. And for the glory of my kingdom, mine honor and brightness return unto me. Pagkat i-restore siya ng Panginoon. The Lord just taught him humility. The Lord just broke his pride. Pero ni-restore yung kanyang kingdom, yung kanyang honor, yung kanyang brightness. At sabi niya, and my counselors and my Lord sought unto me. And I was established in my kingdom. And excellent majesty was added unto me. Nang ibig sabihin, when he was returned, restored back to his kingdom, Amen, excellent majesty was added unto him. Why? Because alam niya, there's a higher authority than him. He learned that heavens do rule. He learns that the Most High ruleth over the affairs of men. At sabi niya, now, I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise not, not praise myself. I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven. All whose works are truth and His ways judgment. If you have just. And those that walk in pride, He is able to abase. At yung lumalakad in pride, mga kapatid, God is able to humble. Oh my. So instead of glorifying himself now, he's now glorifying God. Alam niyo mga kapatid, when the Lord give you an experience, hindi ka binigyan ng Panginoon ng experience para marami kang may kwento. Hindi ba? When binigyan ka ng Panginoon ng iba't ibang experience, you know the reason? Because God want, wants to teach you His ways. Amen. God wants to teach you His wisdom. God wants to make Himself known to you. God wanted to mold you. God wanted to change you. God wanted to transform you. Ayan yung reason sometimes, hindi mo na, hindi mo maisip, bakit yung taong yan? Suddenly, he, he had that experience. He fall in, the, in that condition. Mga kapatid, mayroong bagay lamang na gustong ituro ang Panginoon sa Kanya. Merong mga bagay, mga kapatid, na tinuturo ang Panginoon sa Kanya. And when we comes out of that condition, when the Lord delivers him out of that trouble, mga kapatid, Amen, He would glorify God. He would praise God. Hallelujah! Pagkat nalaman niya, it's not because of Him. It's not because of His ability. But it's because of God. It's by the grace of God. It's by the mercy of God. Kaya he would come out of that experience as a better person because he would learn that the Most High ruleth over the affairs of men. Hallelujah! He would start glorifying God. Even kahit, kahit, kahit 
Nandun na siya sa exalted position. When he speaks, he would speak with humility. Pagkat alam niya, mga kabatid, nakamtan niya yung mga bagay na yon. Hindi dahil magaling siya. Hindi dahil marunong siya. Hindi dahil makapangyarihan siya. Ayun ay binigay ng Panginoon because of His love and grace. Amen. Now, I just want to read first some few scriptures. Now, we were reading Daniel 4, but I, uh, I'd like us to go back to Daniel chapter 2. Pagkat ito yung dream ni King Nebuchadnezzar about the great statue. You know, natin mabasahin lahat. Eh. I preached several messages on this already. Eh. Pero alam natin dito, nagalik yung hari pagkat hindi nila ma-interpret yung kanyang, o hindi masabi yung dream pagkat nakalimutan niya at hindi nila ma-interpret ng mga wise men ng Babylon. He made a decree to kill all the wise men. Sabi ni Daniel kay Ariok, bakit napakabilis naman yung uh, dikri ng hari? Bigyan mo lang kami ng konting panahon dahil kami ay mananalangin sa aming Diyos. At sa madaling salita mga kapatid, si Daniel nanalangin. Pagkatapos, in God's archives, in God's library, Amen, pinlayback ng Panginoon, the same dream na binigay niya kay King Nebuchadnezzar. And Daniel saw it in vision. And the Lord gave him the interpretation. Now, after na pinakita ng Panginoon kay Daniel yon, in-reveal sa kanya yung dream at yung interpretation na look at how Daniel prayed here after the Lord revealed those things to him. Sa verse 19, Daniel 2 verse 19. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. And Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are His. And He changeth times and seasons. He removeth kings and seteth up kings. Now, bakit sinabi ito na Daniel sa kanyang prayer? Kasi nang ipinaunawa sa kanya ng Panginoon yung dream ng statue, yung, uh, yung statue, nakita niya doon yung transition from one kingdom to another. Yung Babylonian, yung, yung, yung head of gold, yung Babylonian kingdom. Pero hindi magtatagal yung pababagsakin ng Panginoon. Mayroon na namang i-raise up na midst at Persian. Babagsak ang midst of Persian, lalabas ang Grecian Empire. Babagsak ang Grecian Empire, lalabas ang Roman Empire. So nakita niya, how a nation would rise up in glory and fall. At ang sabi niya dito, ang kanyang prayer, God changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. Ang Panginoon nagtatanggal, siya rin ang nagluluklok. For 20 years, this country is under the regime of, of the Marcoses. Di ba? But God is stripped them of that power. Pagkat ang Panginoon ang nagtatanggal. At ngayon, nilukluk niya naman ang Marcos. Wala tayo magawa. Pagkat siyang nagtatanggal, siyang nagluluklok. Yeah. Hindi ka makikipag-away dyan sa labas. Hindi, uh, hindi mga kapatid. This is the sovereign will of God. Things may look out of control, but it is not out of control in God's hand. May iba kang preference, pero ayan ang pinayagan ng Panginoon na manalo. Amen. Ayan ang sovereign will ng Panginoon. Pagkat siya ang nagtatanggal, tinanggal niya for that three decades, mga kapatid, gustong bumalik ni Bongbong Marcos sa pagka-presidente na talo siya yung last election. Pero ngayon nanalo na siya, wala tayong magawa. Pagkat ang Diyos ang nagtatanggal, ang Diyos ang nagluluklok. If you don't understand that, mga kapatid, aburido ka. Hindi yan yung gusto kong presidente, siya nang nalo. Ano ba yan? Ano na mangyayari sa Pilipinas? Ano na mangyayari sa buhay ko? Mga kapatid, 
Hindi si Bongbong Marcos ang may hawak ng buhay mo. Ang Diyos ang may hawak ng buhay mo. Ano wala ba ba din? Do you know that God can even raise dictators to fulfill His will? Hurra! Hurra is a Hitler. It's God to fulfill the prophecy about the regathering of Israelites. Pagka mga kapatid, nagsik Christ mga kapatid, pinapipila yung mga tao, sabi, crucify Him, crucify Him. Let His blood be upon us and upon our children. That is part of God's chastisement. So God raised up Hitler, Mussolini, Stalin. It's all by the plan of God. Alam ng Panginoon ang ilulukluk niyang tao to fulfill His scriptures. Hallelujah! Kung si Vladimir Putin, mga kapatid, ang presidente ng Russia kayon, he is the right person now na mamuno dyan. Pagkat siyang nilagay ng Panginoon. And you think, you think it's, it's, it's out of order? It's out of control kahil hindi yung akala mo na manalaw na nalaw, mga kapatid, everything is in control because heavens do rule. He removed kings and set it up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that no understanding. Amen. Al- alam niya, mga kapatid, He giveth wisdom. Kung meron kang wisdom, alam mo, merong nagbigay. Ibig sabihin, tumanggap ka. Merong pinagmulan. Kaya alam ni Daniel yung wisdom niya, hindi, hindi, hindi niya sa, hindi sa kanya yun. May nagbigay sa kanya. At sino ng Diyos? Diyos ang nagbigay ng wisdom. Diyos ang nagbigay ng knowledge. There's a wisdom that cometh from man, and that is earthly and fleshly. But the wisdom that comes from above is pure. At sabi yan dito, verse 22, He revealed the deep and secret things. Pagkat yung hindi ma-interpret, hindi, hindi ma-interpret ng mga wise man ang Babylon, ni-reveal niya kay Daniel. At alam ni Daniel, hindi dahil sa kanyang karunungan na laman na yun, ang Diyos ang naghayag na mga malalalim na bagay sa kanya, malalalim na sikreto. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in darkness and the light dwell, and the light dwelleth with him. And because of this consciousness na alam ni Daniel ng wisdom niya ay galing sa Diyos, sabi niya sa verse 23, I thank thee. And praise thee, O thou God of my fathers, who has given me wisdom and might, and has made known unto me now what we desired of thee. Yung naiyong inihingi namin, yung didesire namin, ipinakita mo sa amin. Kaya ako'y nagpapasalamat, pinupuri kita, O Diyos, aking Ama. O thou God of my fathers, thou hast given me wisdom and might. Kaya mga kabatid, kapag ang Diyos ay may nihayag, Amen, magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos, magpuri tayo sa Panginoon. Pagkat yung kapahayagan ay hindi pinakarang dahil magaling yung pastor, dahil indugat na yung pastor, it has nothing to do with education. Amen, it is God that revealed the deep secrets of God. Amen. At sabi niya, and thou hast now made known unto us the king's matter. Now, tinan natin mga kapatid, nang humarap siya sa hari, katapos, sinabi niya yung, yung dream, at na-realize ni Nebuchadnezzar, oh, ito nga yung dream, naalala ko ito yun. Then, dito ngayon, nang i-interpret niya yung dream, dito sa verse 36, I'd like to show you something here. Sabi ni Daniel, this is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art king of kings, because God has made him world ruler. There are many nations with their own kings, but he is above them because he is controlling those nations. Sabi niya, Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the God of heaven, look at this, hath what? Hath given. Binigay sa kanya. Hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. 
Ito yung nakalimutan ni King Nebuchadnezzar sa chapter 4, nagmamalaki siya. Kaya kayo, you know, the, the importance sometimes why the word must be repeated. Pagkat yan, sinabi na ni Daniel. You know, that the gap between Daniel 2 and Daniel 4, it's more than 20 years. Do you see that? Sinabi na ng Panginoon kay Nebuchadnezzar through Daniel na yung kapangyarihan mo, yung kalawalhatian mo, yung kingdom na yan, bigay yan ng Panginoon sa'yo. Marami kang digmaan na sinabak, bakit ka nanalo? Amen? Because God has given you victory. Kaya kahit anong gawin nila na makibaka sa'yo, hindi sila manalo pagkat binigay na sila ng Panginoon sa'yo. That's the reason you become a world ruler. Pagkat ang Diyos ang nagluluklok, siya rin ang nagtatanggal. Now, tingnan mo natin sa Daniel chapter 5. Ito na yung kanyang grandsa na si Belshazzar. Alam natin ang nangyari dito, you know, habang nakakaroon siya ng kapistahan, pinalabas ni Belshazzar yung mga holy vessels na nakuha ng kanyang grandfather na si Nebuchadnezzar sa Temple of Solomon. Ginamat nila sa kanilang, sa kanilang inuman. In other words, those vessels was, were desecrated. Nagalit ang Panginoon, there was a handwriting on the wall. Nangatog ang tuhod ni uh, King Belshazzar. Tinawag yung mga wise men. Hindi nila ma-interpret yung handwriting on the wall. Pero tinawag, sabi ng, uh, ng Mother Queen, sa panahon ng iyong uh, grandfather, ni Buwanezar, ganito. May tao nagangalang Daniel. Yung mga bagay na yan, kaya-kaya niya yan. Ayon, tinan natin. Nang pinatawag ngayon si Daniel, tingnan natin si Daniel dito. Daniel chapter 5 verse 18. Tinan nyo kung paano niya nirebuke si King Belshazzar. Daniel 5 verse 18. O thou king, the most high God, gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. Hindi pa rin nagbabago. That is the first revelation. Hindi nagbago yan. Si pinapakita dito ni Daniel, sabi niya, O thou king, the most high, God gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father. Tinawag lang ng father, because this is his grandfather. Ano? Kasi ang King James hindi gumagamit ng grandfather or grandson. Si Jesus Christ, si Jesus Christ he was called the son of David. Pero si David, great, 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 great grandfather niya na. Now, thy father, okay, God gave Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. Yung tatay mo, ang Panginoon ang nagbigay sa kanya ng kingdom, ng majesty, ng glory at honor. And for the majesty that he gave him, all people and nations and languages trembled and feared before him. Dahil sa kapangyarihan na binigay sa kanya ng Panginoon, yung mga ta- tao takot sa kanya. People trembled and feared before him, whom he would he slew, and whom he would he kept alive. Pag sinabi niya, patayin niyo ito, papatayin. Pag sinabi niya, huwag niyo papatayin yan. They would save his life. And whom he would set up, and whom he would he set up, and whom, whom he would he put down. Kung gusto niya itaas yung isa, i-promote. Para si Daniel, pinromote niya. Kung gusto niya ibagsak yung isa, ibabagsak niya. Verse 20. But when his heart was lifted up, and his mind hardened in pride, he was disposed from his kingly throne, and they took his glory from him. Pero nang, ang kanyang heart was lifted up in pride, was lifted up. And, he, and his mind hardened in pride. Anong ginawa ng Panginoon? God humbled this king. He was deposed from his kingly throne. And they took his glory from him for a season. And he was driven from the sons of men. And his heart was made like the beast. And his dwelling was with the wild beast, uh, wild asses. They fed him with grass like oxen. And his body was wet. With the Jew of heaven. Binanggit dyan, heart, mind, and body. Soul, spirit, and body. At sabi niya, till he knew 
that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men and that He appointed over it whomsoever He will. Ayan ang nangyari sa tatay mo. Okay? God has humbled him. Hanggat sa malaman niya, ma-realize niya that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men and He appointed over it of whomsoever He will. Siya yung nag-appoint kung sinong gusto niya. At sabi niya, And thou, his son, O Belshazzar, hast not humbled thine heart, though thou knowest all this. Ibig sabihin, alam mo yung nangyari sa tatay mo. Sa grandfather mo. Iba? Dapat natuto ka doon. Yung kanyang yung kanyang nangyari sa kanya, it was, nag, na, gumawa siya ng state declaration. It was translated into many nations, into many languages, passed throughout his kingdom. Alam mo yung nangyari sa kanya, how God has humbled him, how the Most High God has humbled him. Pero you have not humbled yourself, bagamat alam mo yung mga bagay na ito. Nang ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, Wag lang tayo matuto sa eksperyensya natin, matuto tayo sa eksperyensya ng iba. Kaya yung mga kwento dito, these were written for our examples. Because some people learn it the hard way. But you could learn from their life, mga batid, para yung kanilang pagkakamali, eh, hindi mo na magawa. Marali lang, Panginoon, ay merong ginawa sa iyong pamilya. Okay, may mga nangyari doon. At nakita mo yung hand ng Panginoon, that should be a lesson to you already na huwag mo nang uulitin yung the same na pagkakamali. Pero ito si Belshazzar, nakita niyang ginawa ng Panginoon kay King Nebuchadnezzar, how the Lord humbled him. Pero sabi niya, sabi ni Daniel dito, bagamat alam mo yung mga bagay na ito, you have not humbled your heart. Verse 23, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. Hindi niya man lang na-respeto yung mga holy vessels na galing sa templo. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee. And thou and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them. And thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold and brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor, nor know. Dinesecrate mo yung mga holy vessels? Pagkatapos pinuri mo yung mga god. Gods of silver, gold, ito mga ribultong ito, na hindi nakakakita, na hindi nakakarinig, na walang alam. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways thou hast not glorified. Ginlorify mo yung mga ribulto, yung mga gawa ng tao, pero yung Diyos na mayroong hawak na yung hininga, hindi mo man lang niluwalhati. And we know what happened to him here at this same night. Belshazzar was king. I was slain, should I say. Okay. And the kingdom was passed to the Medes and Persian. Now, look at Jeremiah 27. Jeremiah 27, verse 5. Now, itong babasahin natin, this is before the time na nawasak yung uh, Jerusalem, bago na sunog yung, uh, sinunog yung temple and so on. Uh, so, ito'y before, ano, ng uh, mga binanggit natin or tinignan natin sa Daniel. Okay, bago pa man nangyari yung mga uh, binasa natin sa Daniel, ay uh, ito makikita natin dito sa Je- Jeremiah 27 uh, nagkaroon ng parang summit sa Jerusalem nandito ang king of Edom king of Moab king of uh, hindi, nandito yung mga ambassadors okay ng uh, king of Edom king of Moab king of Ammonites king of Tyre and Sidon padala sila ng mga ambassador nila doon sa Jerusalem nagkaroon ng summit okay at binigyan ng Panginoon ng word sa Jeremiah na itong sasabihin niya sa mga ambassador para sabihin sa mga hari Pagkatalan natin, at this time, uh, si, uh, si Sedekaya rebelled against the king of Babylon. Ano? Natin na natin. 
Uh, let's start from verse 5. Ito ang pinapasabi ng Panginoon. We, 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 we could ano, is, uh, read uh, verse 4. And, co- and command them to say unto their masters. Kausap ng Panginoon si Jeremiah. Itong sabihin mo sa mga ambassadors na pinadala ng mga hari. Uh, sa, nasabihin nila sa kanila mga masters. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Thus shall ye say unto your masters, I have made the earth. Ibig sabihin, He is the God of creation. The powerful God, the omnipotent God. And the man and the beast that are upon the ground. By my great power and by my outstretched arm. And have given it unto whom it submit unto me. At binigay ko sa kapamahalaan kung sino ang nakikita kong tamang pagbigyan. Now, at sabi niya, And now, have I given all these lands? Tinutukoy yung mga nations. Okay? Yung, uh, yung Edom, yung Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and Sidon. And now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant. Why? Because King Nebuchadnezzar is a tool in God's hand to execute judgment upon the nations for their evil doings. Now, I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant. And the beast of the field have I given him also to serve him. Now look at this. Ibinigay na pala ng Panginoon kay Nebuchadnezzar eh. Si Jeremiah naman nagsalit, nagsalit na dito. Nangyibig sabihin kahit anong gawin ng mga bansang ito, i-strengthen natin ang ating military might, magkaroon tayo ng alyansa, magsanip po sa tayo, labanan natin ang Babylon. Babylon. Mga kapatid, kahit anong gawin nila, kahit wala pang digmaan, may nanano la. May nanalo na sa mata ng Panginoon. Pagkat kahit anong gawin nila, dahil ibinigay na sila ng Panginoon kay Nebuchadnezzar, kapag makipaglaban sila sa kanya, matatalo sila. Look at the sovereignty of God. Uh, the sovereignty of God. Diba? Kahit wala pang gera, panalo na si Nebuchadnezzar. Kasi ibinigay na ng Panginoon. Diba? Now, at sabi sa verse 7, And all the nations shall serve him, and his sons, and his son's son. Nag-ibig sabihin yung mga nations magsuserve sa kanya, sa kanyang anak, at sa kanyang grandson. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung reigning hanggang grandson lang. Kaya si Belshazzar, grandson, natapos na doon. Until the very time of his land come, and then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. Okay, so paglilingkuran nila si Nebuchadnezzar, yung kanyang anak at yung anak ng kanyang anak, pagkatapos noon, they would fall into the hands of other nations, and they would serve other nations. It is God that set it up. It gets, it's God that removed it. Now, so sino nabigay? Panginoon. Tinan nga natin dito. Let me re- just read one uh, scripture. Dito sa 1 Corinthians 4. First Corinthians 4, verse 7. For who make it thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Anong meron ka na hindi mo natanggap? Have you asked that question? Okay. And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory as if thou hast not received it? Kung ayun ay natanggap mo, ibig sabihin merong nagbigay sa'yo. Ano bang meron ka na hindi mo natanggap? At kung ayan ay natanggap mo, bakit ikaw umaasta ka na parang 
hindi mo natanggap, parang sa'yo yun. Parang ah, sarili mo, galing sa'yo yun. Kaya ang ini-exalt mo yung sarili mo. Ano pinapakita ito mga batid? All that we have comes from God. Now, tingnan nyo si Job. Siya ang pinakamayaman sa lugar nila, di ba? Maray, sabi naman kay ibang business mas, magaling itong si Job. Magaling siyang dumiskarte, magaling siya sa negosyo, tingnan mo. Siya ang pinakamayaman, hindi natin matalo si Job. Pero nang kinuha ng Panginoon lahat, anong sabi ni Job? The Lord give it. The Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Alam ni Job, meron siyang cost consciousness. Siya ang pinakamayaman, pero lahat na yun ay bigay ng Panginoon sa kanya. The Lord give it! Hindi niya sinabi, oh, yung mga, yung mga matagal kong pinagpagalan dahil sa aking abilidad na wala lahat. Hindi mga kapatid, ang kanyang testimony, ang Diyos ang nagbigay ng lahat na yan. Kinuha ng Panginoon, purihin pa rin. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's the right attitude. Now look at this. Because my type topic is heaven's do rule. Now we are just talking about, huh? pero itong lesson na ito, it's not just for King Nebuchadnezzar because that to the intent that the living would know. Para sa atin ito, kaya dinikler ni King Nebuchadnezzar yung kayang testimony. Para malaman natin. Anong malalaman na heaven's do rule? Hindi lamang sa isang kingdom. Hindi lamang sa isang nation. I'd like to let you know that heavens do rule in your individual life. That heavens do rule in your family. That heavens do rule in this church. Eh, Pastor, may nalang kong free will. How, how could I say heavens do rule? Baka batid ng si Father Bran na may nalungkot na matay ang kanyang asawa na matay ang kanyang anak na si Sharon, kinuha niya yung kanyang baril, nilodan niya, amen, at pinuputok niya. He was trying to blow his head because of, uh, of pain, because of depression, nalulungkot siya. Hindi dahil uh, galit siya sa Diyos, nalulungkot siya, hindi niya, hindi niya, hindi niya kaya dalhin yung bigat na kanyang nadarama. Sabi niya, I'll rather end this race, kinuha niya kanyang baril, pinuputok niya. Ano pumutok? Mga kapatid, hindi pumutok, kinaway. Ang Diyos hindi pa tapos sa Kanya. Heavens do rule. Could you imagine? He could not even take away His own life. Binabaril niya yung Kanya sarili. Ayaw pumutok. Kung siya mismo, hindi niya kaya kunin yung Kanyang buhay. Binabaril niya. Ayaw pumutok. Sa palagay yung si Father Brown na may maglalakad dyan, pagkatapos may, may taong gustong bumaril. At mapapatay siya. Eh kung siya ka lang mismo, eh, mapapatay sa sarili niya, hindi siya mamatay. Eh yung ibang tao pa na gusto bumatay sa kanya. Kasi pag hindi patapos ang Panginoon sa'yo, walang pwede kumitil ng buhay mo. Meron kang will, pero ang Diyos meron ding will. And the sovereign will of God is greater than your free will. Because you were born without a plan of God. God has pre-planned your life. Kahit kung misan, meron kang gusto kang direksyon, yung, uh, yung will pa rin ng Panginoon, yung plano pa rin ng Panginoon, ang mananaig sa buhay mo. Because heavens do rule. Si, si Bader Balam, gusto niyang patayin sa sarili, hindi niya mapatay. Eh kung yung ibang tao gusto pumatay sa, 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 sa kanya, mamatay siya. Eh sarili niya kayo, hindi niya mapatay. Eh pagkatapos tinakot ka ng kapitbahay mo, papatayin ko kayo, lahat ng pamilya niyo, ubusin niyo, ubusin ko. Hindi, lipat na tayo. Mag... Sabihin mo sa kanya, wala kang kapangyarihan unless it is permitted by God. Ah, takot ka si Father Barna, merong, merong time na gusto siyang barilin because he's speaking against Catholicism and Communism. Pero hindi siya pwede mamatay, hindi niya pa panahon. Why? Because God rules not just in a kingdom, but mga kapatid in every individual. Amen, heavens do rule. Ang Diyos pa rin ang kalooban ng Panginoon pa nilang mananaig. 
Kaya ko maiba na iba pa iba iba ng direksyon mo, mga kabarin, lumalakit ka na sa malayo. Amen. God knows how to break your spirit, how to humble your pride para ibalik ka sa tamang landas. Amen. And when the Lord gave you that experience, you were come out of that experience glorifying God. Salamat, Panginoon. Ngayon, nalamat ko na. Hindi sa aking sariling lakas. Hindi sa aking sariling talino. Kundi dahil sa iyong biyaya. Dahil sa iyong pag-ibig. Si Pharaoh, akala niya, siyang superpower. Di ba? Nang dumating si Moses doon, dala lang ang tunggod. Ba't ako magkikinig sa'yo? Hindi mo ba alam that we are a, a great nation with a great economic power? Look at that achievement of Egypt. Sino ka na may tungkod na susunod mo ako, susunod ako sa'yo? Mga mga kapatid, amen. Akala niya siya yung supreme ruler. Amen. Pero pinatunayan ni Moses that heavens do roll. He break down the economy of Egypt, plague after plague after plague after plague. Pagamat gustong hadlangan ni Pharaoh, sabi niya, I will not let your people go. Ang sabi ni Moses, Thus saith the Lord, let my people go. Ayaw niya mga kapatid, pero wala siyang magawa. You know why? Because heavens do roll. Alam niyo mga kapatid, kaya ako sinasabi ito, to increase your faith, to drive away all fears, to drive away worries. Walang pwedeng mangyari sa buhay niyo kung hindi papayagan ng Panginoon. Hallelujah! Kung nahulog ka sa, sa, sa isang bagay na ganyan, na nahulog ka sa isang condition mga kapatid, mayroong purpose kung bakit ka nilagay ng Panginoon dyan. Amen. Amen. To the intent that you will know. Para ma- magkaroon ka ng realization. Ano ba? Na ma-realize mo. Kasi kung minsan, things uh, would happen sa mga tao, and sometimes we would look at, observe some people, things would happen in their life. Bakit ganun? Sometimes we get confused, we get disappointed, frustrated. Bakit nangyayari yung mga bagay na ito? Pero alam ng Diyos ang kanyang ginagawa. Amen. God does things with reason. For a reason. Walang ginawa ang Diyos na walang dahilan. If God permits that in your life, mga kapatid, anong leksyon ang gusto, matutunan ng, uh, mag, ang gusto ng Diyos na matutunan mo? Pero mga kapatid, ang, as, as I was reading uh, the story about uh, Nebuchadnezzar, napakaganda nito eh. Because when the watcher came down, sabi niya, you down that tree. Pero iwanan mo yung, ist- yung stump of the root. Nang ibig sabihin, may restoration. Now look at this. I'm just showing you, I- I'm not trying to break it down in a lower level. Because we're speaking here about king of kingdom, but we are narrowing it down in a lower level. The he- that heavens do rule in your life, Heavens do rule in your job. Heavens do rule in your family. Heavens do rule in the church. Nakuha natin? Naku, misan. Uh, we are lifted up in pride. May mga bagay na nangyari sa atin, kinalimutan natin ang Panginoon. Then mamaya, then suddenly, something happened in your job. At natatakot ka that, oh, you, I, I might lose it, baka wala na ako ng trabaho. Ano nang nangyari? Para biglang ako pinag-iinitin ng boss ko. Natatakot ka. Pero mga kapatid, tinuturuan ka lamang ng Panginoon. But you are not losing your job. The Lord will restore everything. Amen. Pero meron lamang itinuturo ang Panginoon sa iyo. Maralit came in a form of sickness. Nagkaroon ka ng karamdaman. Pero mga kapatid, anong kagandahan dito mga kapatid? Nang nagkaroon ng sickness si Nebuchadnezzar, sinabi ng Panginoon, seven times will pass over you. Ibig sabihin, the Lord determined the length. Amen. Merong time. Kaya na nagkaroon ng trouble, stomach trouble, si Barbara na magsabi ng tinig sa kanya, it's just six, six inches long. Merong duration of time. At merong din duration of time na tatanggalin ng Panginoon. When 
Kung yung bagay na ay na-accomplish na ang purpose, tatanggalin ng Panginoon and you will be restored back. Salamat mga kapatid, mayroong restoration. Maraming panahon na tayo bumagsak, marahit na panahon na tayo nagkamali. Binigyan tayo ng leksyon ng Panginoon. Akala natin nawala na ng lahat. Lahat ng ating pinagpaguran ay nawala na lahat. Pero mga kapatid, meron lang gustong ituro sa inyo that it's not by your own might, it's not by your own power, but by the Spirit, say it the Lord. At kapag na-realize mo ng bagay na yan, maging yung mga bagay na nawala sa iyo, ibabalik ng Panginoon sa iyo. If you would just humble yourself, if you would just realize that heaven's the rule, it's the most high God that ruleth the affairs of men. Amen. Have you come in that realization? Maray kung titinan mo ang buhay mo noon, napakababa ng iyong kinalalagyan. Maray, the Lord just intended to bless you to make your life easier. Medyo gumaan. May binigyan ka ng Panginoong negosyo, lumago. Then suddenly, mga kapatid, your heart is lifted up. Then you start looking down on others. Feeling mo VIP ka na. Feeling mo that people, every person must give special attention on you. Sino ka ba? Amen. You see that? Pero nung, nung dati, humble ka naman eh. Pero lagi kayo pinagpala na. Parang umangat lang ng konti ang iyong kalagayan, mga kapatid. You, you started to be lifted in pride. Mga kapatid, the Lord wants to teach you something. And when the Lord teach you something, when you, came, when, you comes out of that, when you come out of that experience, you will learn to give the glory to God. Kaya sabi ni Kinawa, I praise, I extol, extol the Most High God. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, salamat sa bihaya ng Panginoon. Kung misa natatakot tayo, Panginoon, ano nangyari sa buhay ko? Ganito na. Anak, mayroon lang ang gustong matutunan ka. Pero when that was decreed in heaven, na pag-agrihan namin ng mga watchers, sabi niya, sabi namin, live by stamp of the root. Amen. Huwag mo nga sirain lahat. Huwag kunin lahat. Ang ibig sabihin, merong restoration. The Lord would just chasten you. Panginoon, nawala ito. Bakit nawala yung mga bagay na ito? Mga kapatid, just lift up your eyes into heaven and humble yourself before God. Ate, ibalik mo lahat ng kalawalhatian sa Diyos. Lahat ng pasasalamat sa Diyos. At kung may mga bagay na dapat kang pagsisihan, pagsisihan mo. Huwag mo kaya isinibukan niya sa he learned it the hard way. Because when God was speaking to the prophet, giving him counsel, pinatigas niya ang kanyang puso. How many times we are coming to church and the Spirit is speaking, amen, His counsel to His servant, giving us advice, correcting us. Pero dahil pinapatigas mo ang iyong puso, you fall into situations. Pero mga kapatid, huwag ka magalala. You might fall in some difficult situation. It was decreed for, for in heaven bago nangyari yan sa buhay mo. Pero mga kapatid, when it was decreed in heaven, mayroong, mayroong kasamang biyaya doon. Pagkat kasama yung restoration. Hallelujah! Nagsinubukan ng Panginoon si Job na wala lahat sa kanya. Lahat ng kanyang ari-arian na wala sa kanya. Pero hindi nag-end doon, mga kapatid. Amen. Yung kalusugan niya ay binalik ng Panginoon. Yung kayamanan niya binalik ng Panginoon. Dinoble pa ng Panginoon. Amen. But before that happens, Job humbled himself to the Lord. Hallelujah! I'm just dust and ashes. Hallelujah. At ayan ang nice ng Panginoon sa buhay natin, mga kapatid. Amen. Na makita natin who rule the affairs of men. Sometimes God permit troubles to happen in your family. Hindi mo alam, Panginoon, ang nangyayari sa pamilya ko. Parang wala ng pag-asa. Pero mga kapatid, God could restore back your family. God could restore back your health. Hallelujah! 
just lift up your eyes unto heaven. Amen. Na alam mo, Panginoon, bagamat I think things are out of my control, but it doesn't mean that it is out of your control. Amen. Things may be out of your control, but not to God. Because everything is under God's control. Walang pwedeng mangyari sa iyong buhay kung hindi alaw ng Panginoon. Panginoon, kung, kung inayabo itong mangyari sa aking buhay, anong nais mong matutunan ko, Panginoon? Pasensya ka na, patawarin mo ako sa mga panahon na nangusap ka sa akin, pero hindi ko binigyan ng pansin. Because I didn't hear it, you make me feel it. But Lord, I humble myself before you now. Hey Amen. I confess my faults, Lord. I know na wala akong magagawa. I've tried with my own effort. It's all in vain. Nakita ko na baka ma- 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 maging yung mga bagay na pinagpagalan ko. Kaya mo lang pitikin mawala sa akin. Maging yung kalakasan ko ito'y nagmula sa iyo. Eh, maging karunungan ko nagmula sa iyo. But many times in my life, I fail to give back the glory to you. My, I have the spirit of pride. My spirit is lifted up. I have an exalted spirit. But now I realize, Lord, even that all things that I receive comes from you, that I am living by your divine grace and mercy towards me. Amen. And when Daniel and when King Nebuchadnezzar learned that mga kapatid, binalik ng Panginoon ang kingdom sa kanya, yung majesty, Panginoon, binalik ng Panginoon sa kanya, the Lord has given him a more excellent glory. Why? You know why? Pagkat mga kapatid, when the Lord restored him back to that position, alam niya mga kapatid, that there's a higher authority. He knows that God is sovereign in all things. If you, you just, if you would just grasp that principle, wala kang dapat katakutan. There's nothing going on wrong. Wala kang dapat katakutan. Wala kang dapat ipangamba. Nasa kamay ng Panginoon lahat ng bagay. Bagamat yung nawala sa'yo, kayang ibalik ng Panginoon yan, mga kapatid. Hawak ng Panginoon sa lahat ng bagay. Ah, ang napahalaka lang, ma-recognize mo yung kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay mo at lakaran mo yung kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Mga kapatid, don't, don't fight against the will of God. You will never win, mga kapatid. God knows how to break His children. God knows how to break a stubborn person, mga kapatid. Dahil kung malakas ka, lahat ay nasa iyo, mga kapatid. You are insensitive to God. So sometimes God has to break down your spirit. Everything is falling apart. Oh, bakit ganito? Akala ko magaling ako, but everything is falling apart. Yung mga bagay, it's not running smoothly the way I think. It's not going the way I want. Lord, what's happening? Mga kapatid, you know what's happening. Just make a pause and have a self-inventory. Examine yourself, examine your life and be sensitive because the Lord has been speaking through you many times to the servants of God, to the Word of God, but you were insensitive. But God wants you just to, to have a pause. He start to examine Bakit nangyari yung mga bagay na ito? There must be a reason behind everything. There must be a reason. And you humble yourself. Panginoon, wala akong magagawa kung wala ka. Lord, the reason you passed me through this experience, hindi lang para marami kong kwento na, kwento ng buhay ko, Lord. The reason you passed me through this experience because you want me to know your ways. You want me to know you more. You want to mold me, Lord. May mga bagay na kailangan tanggalin sa buhay ko. Mga bagay na hindi kaaya-aya sa buhay ko, kailangan tanggalin, Lord. Nilagay mo ako, Lord, sa lugar na ito. And look, look at the, look, look my, look up. Tingnan mo ako, Panginoon, ngayon. Dati parang ang taas-taas ko, but now I don't have a little bit of pride. You have broken me down. Ayan, Panginoon, anong masasabi ko? I would just praise you, Lord. I would thank you, Lord. I would glorify your name, Lord. 
Lord, let all the honor, the glory, and the majesty belong to you. Be given to you. Ano man ang kalagayan mo, ano man sitwasyon mo sa buhay ngayon, huwag ka, mag, huwag ka mag-alala kapatid, meron kang pag-asa because heavens do rule. Ano man kalagayan mo ngayon, kaya, kaya ang baliktarin ng Panginoon yan mga kapatid because heavens do rule. Hindi mo kaya yan, sinubukan mo, hindi mo kaya. Pero kaya ng Panginoon, ang hindi kaya ng tao, kaya ng Panginoon. God specializes on things that are impossible. Huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang mawalan ng pag-asa. That happened in your life because it is decreed from heaven. But there's a promise of restoration at the end. Kung nawala man ang joy mo, get and bring back that joy. You are so confused, frustrated, in fear. God could pull back all those things and restore you your peace of mind. Amen. That's the God that we serve. Heaven's do rule. Oh, if, if you could just fathom these things, mga batid, wala ka dapat ikatakot. Wala ka dapat iwari, mga batid. You may know, you may not know what tomorrow holds, but you know who holds tomorrow. It's the God of heaven, the God who created the universe, the God who spread the stars in the galaxy, the one who created the moon and the stars, the God who created the sun, the omnipotent God. That's the God, that's the kind of God that we serve. There's nothing like Him. There's no one like my God. Mga kapatid, walang katumbas ang Diyos. Amen. Ang nais nice lang ng Diyos, mga kapatid, sa atin, we would humble ourselves to Him. We would submit ourselves to His will. Salamat sa biyaya ng Panginoon that even in the time of chastening, God remembered mercy. You down that tree, but leave the stump of the root because His kingdom is sure. Babalik sa kanya yan. Hindi ko yan gugunin. Ibabalik ko yun. Pagkat meron lamang akong gustong ituro sa kanya. Amen to the intent that He would know, that the living will know. Amen. That it is God that is ruling the affairs of man. Amen. Oh, what kind of God we serve. Have you ever considered your ways? Have you ever examined your state, your condition? At kapag tinignan mo yung condition, nasabi mo ba, Lord, how gracious you are to me. Lord, how merciful you are to me. Kung didinan ko, Lord, ang alam kong kalagayan, you have placed me in this condition, Lord. How gracious you are to me. Hindi yung kinikwestiyon mo ang Panginoon, no. You have learned, you must learn to thank God, to extol God, even to praise God, to lift up His name. Maging, bagamat nasa tuktok ka na, when you examine yourself, Lord, salamat sa iyong biyaya. Lord, salamat sa iyong pag-ibig. Salamat sa iyong awa, Panginoong Diyos. Lord, ikaw ang may taas, hindi, hindi ako, Panginoon, because I am reputed as nothing compared to you. Praise God. Musicians, please come. Hallelujah. Oh, praise be the living God. Have you seen the grace of God? Have you seen the love of God? Oh, how lovely is our God. Amen. Mga kapatid, ano mang mangyari sa Pilipinas, bumagsak man ang ekonomiya, huwag kayong mag-alala, heavens do rule. God can still provide for His children. 
God is not affected by the economy of this country. No, God can still provide for His children. Wala kayong dapat di katakot, wala kayong dapat di kabahala because heavens do rule. Hallelujah! Your economic situation is not determined mga kabatid, by the situation of, the, of our country. It's in the hands of God. If God wants to bless you, you would be blessed then regardless of the situation. Amen. You must see God. He's sovereign. Amen. He holds things in His hand. You are not the ruler of your life. Heavens do rule. Meron kang free will, but God's, but God's will is greater than your human free will. Amen. Why don't you just lift up your heads to God like King Nebuchadnezzar and thank the Lord and lift up the Lord. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We extol you, Lord. We glorify your name. We give you honor. We give you glory, Lord. Wala kang katulad ng Diyos. Ikaw ang nag-iisang Diyos. Oh, ano bang kalagayan ng aking pamilya ngayon? Ano bang kalagayan ng aking sarili? Hindi dapat ako matakot because heavens do roll. I might be in a bad situation. I must be in a in a big problem. But you can deliver me out of this situation because it's not of my own strength that I could deliver myself out of this. It's by your strength, not by might nor by my power, but by the Spirit, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Would you like to glorify God like King Nebuchadnezzar? Oh, how lovely is our God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I, I, I'd like my wife to sing a song. Let's just worship the Lord as they sing. Praise the Lord.
song because he lives pakitulungan ako mga